Hello everyone, this is Farid Premani and welcome to another episode of Ignite the Spark. Today we are going to talk about successful cultures behind different communities and yes, we have covered different communities in the past but today we are talking about one of the most richest communities in the world, Jeeves community. Many of the common traits, values and skills and priorities are always the same but there are still some high priorities that everybody has which makes them successful and behind Jews looking at different books philosophies and some of the good friends who have been well uh, versed in businesses and entrepreneurship following are seven points that makes Jews successful entrepreneurs and triple digit entrepreneurs and millions most of the times number one is emphasis on education so Jews as the values that education should continue you know we usually use the term continuing education in most of our videos derived from different values that we have Jews follow that you know they have the value for continuing education they keep on upgrading whether they are successful whether they are fourth generation businesses seventh generation businesses they don't consider themselves as expert which is the thing that staying humble staying calm keeps you moving because what happens is usually the business tends to be in a second or third generation most of the time first generation people get into big egos big silos that yes we know everything in the business and this is the time the decline starts you can look at the case study of Nokia we all know big brand name where does it stand in the world nowhere so continuing education and education is a part of continuous upgradation in business that's number one number two is strong work ethics this is something people usually compromise in uh, there are different communities there are different kind of entrepreneurs some very quickly compromise on work ethics just to make a single dollar or a million dollar depending on how short sell your values are but usually Jews on an overall level are very strong on work ethics they are ready to accept the losses on the monetary level but they don't like compromising their credibility which makes them valuable in the longer run so this is something to learn from not compromising on your work ethics and your true characteristic is always portrayed in your initial days when you become rich when you become big everything just magnifies point number three is focused on community building and networking this is very important sell of the business that relationship plays the role so they establish relationship they spend money ongoing traveling meeting people in person these days when everything is zoom remote in business world still relationship plays a role so one thing we have learned actually by working with Jews closely is they really know the person and they spend hours and hours on having dinners lunches spending vacation traveling out they try to know the person the character of the person they are doing business and then the relationship stays for long this is something you should do usually what the problem where we fall in trap is just to one quick bucks without even knowing the person on the good glory stories we trust and we give them the business and this is where they run up with the payment they run up with the contract broken you know those kind of foreclosures everything happens so try to know person well even before you start the business that's strong learning from Jews point number four is they value critical thinking now critical thinking is something not everybody wants to do because critical thinking one does when they start the business they, are, they try to research if somebody is scientific they do market research they do focus group they do quantitative studies qualitative sometimes you as an entrepreneur say oh I don't have budget for it you don't need a budget for it you can roll up the sleeves dive in the market and ask access the market you know but you need to spare time for it good thing with use with businesses and that's why the money stays in seven generation is they keep on doing critical thinking how can we improvise a product where is our product getting into bottleneck what stops us right now to grow in 2023 what would be the strategy for 2026 what would be the strategy for 2023 this all factors plays into role and helps them continuously grow and develop brands which are renowned in the world for their R&D so hope these four factor helps you learn from how Jews build their empires and I'm sure as we are increasing our journey as startups, freelancers, entrepreneurs, professionals leaving 9 to 5, all these success stories from valuable people and communities around us. And this is Farid Pramani signing off.